I, um, didn't realize just how much woods there were. This is like a, like a genuine fort. Wanna turn around? No, no, I'm just saying this is like, it's pretty sprawling, that's all. Yeah, <laughs> I've always liked that word. Sprawling. But I just want to make sure, you know, that we know where we're going. We do- Yeah, of course. It's just over the river and through the wood, like the song. Yeah, but in the song, the horse knew the way to carry the sleigh. Through the white and whatever snow. Yeah, I... and in this particular scenario, I'm the noble steed who will lead us merrily to Grandmother's house. And Grandmother being... Being Ren, right. You know, this whole place really creepily reminds me of a park, or woods, I guess, near where I used to live. It's really kind of felt just like this. It's weird. Oh yeah? What was that one called? Peabody, I think. I'm trying to remember the sign, but like half the letters had fallen off, so it spelled pea pork. My dad was really happy to move here, you know? He said the schools were safer, less knifings per capita. I guess he never considered the danger of whatever's happening right now. But, you know... No offense, but your town sounds like the worst place on Earth. Well, it's not like your town. I'll put it that way. This thing's so weird looking. Apparently it's 400 years old. There's a cafe in town named after it. And next, on the tour of Edwards Island, an old bush. Well, I think this stuff is interesting. It's four centuries old, you're not impressed by that? It's a tree, so... not really, no. Um, why is there a cable car here? Couldn't they have just made, like, just like a normal bridge? It's not a cable car, it's a bridge ferry. Bridge ferry? 
Yeah, it's kind of neat, right? It's like going on a gondola ride. It looks less than welcoming. Or at least it doesn't look very inviting. Look, it's a little scary, but Ren needs us, so... Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. All right, well, let's just see if we gotta take the, um, conveyor thing. It's been rotting here since the invention of ovens. Oh, check out the small cemetery in the Pacific Northwest. Literally, it's from the 1800s. Jesus, I thought that was a pet cemetery. I'm kind of relieved, this island's depressing enough. Power Transfer Station 167. Okay, that's a little strange. Why wouldn't they lock it? I mean, somebody should have locked it, right? Maybe the guy in charge of the forest closet forgot. Maybe. Or he's dead. <sighs> Jonas. I'm just saying, maybe he's dead. Being terrorized on an island by unseen forces really makes you miss television. Well, maybe if we get the power working, you can catch up on the soaps. I found the circuit breaker. Wait, like the first thing it says is, beware of overload. Do not attempt restart without supervision. Um, so I don't know. Terrific, you'll be my supervisor. Supervisor Jonas. So what does it say to do? Just let me do it. That way, if something bad happens, you know... Please, I can handle pulling two switches. I really just don't like... I can't think of a way to delicately put this, but... Fine, okay? Take the reins if you're so nervous. Thank you. All right, um... Well... Uh, what's happening? Why'd the lights go out? Which flip did you hit? The only one. There's only one switch, and it's the one that says power, or whatever. I don't know why it didn't do what it should have. The lamp's flickering. Do you think it's like on backup power now or something? It sounds like it's emitting some weird noise, too. Right? Yeah, a little. For some reason, it reminds me of the cave. Uh, any ideas? The, uh, light kind of reminds me of that triangle thing. I don't know why. Maybe it's a transmission or something. Other than that, I don't know. Hop up and down and cry about our bad luck. It's... I can't believe this. It's locked now. It's okay. We'll just... There's got to be a way to turn the power on still. That's... that's... God, I haven't heard this in forever. This is something my mom used to... Ah. I am so tired of this funhouse bullcrap. Was that there before? I don't think so. Alex, are you all right? Ah! Alex! <laughs> Not funny. Not funny. Opposite. Total opposite of funny. Look. It was worth it. What a night, huh? 
Yeah, sorry about this. No, no, I'm not, um, I'm not saying it like it's anyone's fault. It's nobody's fault. It just happened. Stuff happens. If I hadn't brought the radio and hadn't tuned it into that... whatever... No, don't say that. Well, actually, you saying that saves me from saying it, so thank you. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I kid, I kid. Humming like a barracuda. Barracudas don't hum. Well, this one is. Praise the Lord. 